Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode, uh, episode, well, hello everyone, welcome back to another LEGO Jurassic World Dominion review, and this is the LEGO Jurassic World set number 76950, Triceratops Pickup Truck Ambush, not, not, not too clever of a name, but still a very cool set. Alrighty, so yes, this is Brickosaurus 227, and I really can't wait to get into this. This is one of the sets I was the most excited for, for many reasons, mainly because it has a Lego Triceratops. Now, if you don't know, those aren't necessarily common. I wasn't able to pick one up last time, the last release that they came out in, and I'm really glad they either released them. Hopefully, they'll keep releasing them, and I haven't literally never seen a Lego Triceratops figure in person before, so I'm really excited to get my hands on this. Uh, this is one of my favorite looking figures. I have a feeling this is going to be one of my favorite figures. Well, so anyway, let's see what's inside this set. First, let's take a quick look at the box art because it's pretty darn cool. You have this really neat Triceratops graphic. You have a beautiful display. And this is based off that scene in the movie where, at, actually at the very beginning, where Claire and Frank are actually trying to rescue the baby Triceratops. And they should have a baby Triceratops in this set. It would make more sense to have it with the adult Triceratops, but still... Really darn cool, <clears throat> and it is based off of that scene. Let's get this open. I stalled enough. <clears throat> and I forgot to mention, in case you didn't know, this set is exactly $40 USD. So let's see what you got. First off, you have the bag with the, the Triceratops parts. Then you have this, the head of the Triceratops in a separate bag, which is kind of interesting. I don't know why they don't have them in the same bag. Maybe because the head's a little more of a wider piece. Uh, all one piece, which I actually like. You have bag one, two, and three, all with different characters in them. And then, of course, you have the instructions, which have a really neat feature nowadays where it has the character progress thing. As you go, go further along in the instructions, the character moves down like as a progress bar, which is kind of neat. Again, one instruction booklet. Really glad that LEGO's doing that again. Or I don't know if they ever did that, but I'm really glad that they're doing it now. I, I prefer that over multiple instruction booklets. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, this looks, all looks really nice, and I can't wait to get it open. All right, let's get into the speed build.
okay, so the build of this set was very nice. A very quick build, though, which is a little slight complaint I had. Uh, the truck was very, was I built very, very quick. Unlike this black, this vehicle, which uh, actually took me quite some time to get fully assembled, but <clears throat> this truck took about, I'd, I'd say, close, almost five minutes to build, and it was really quick, uh, mainly because the main focus on the set is the Triceratops and the figures. So yeah, I can't wait to take a look at this set, and it looks really nice, and I really want to get into the details of it. So let's start with the Triceratops figure. Now, despite two different versions already having come out, uh, I have to say, I have never owned a Triceratops dinosaur figure until now. I really, really like this. This is a really, really well done figure. The painting is great. Now, the bottom chin is supposed to be painted tan a little bit, but it's not there. But still very nice. The detailing, <clears throat> the scars are different on each side, which is nice. A neat little touch. Just the scarring, it feels like a very individual dinosaur, and I like how they add that. And the maneuverability is really good. You can move the head in all sorts of directions. Same with the legs. And these are the same legs as the Ankylosaurus, which are already, I guess, Triceratops legs. And you can see there's a pretty good size right there. A pretty accurate, too, with uh, real life. So, yeah. And this Triceratops figure is just absolutely amazing. And already makes the set worth 40 bucks in my eyes. Uh, there's three studs here if you want to put a figure, like an Owen figure. Because you know you have a ton, you don't want to, you don't know where else to put them. So yeah, really nice. Oops, sorry. Very, very good figure, and I really love the detail and individuality in the set. There's even scars on one of the legs, and this dinosaur really just feels like an individual dinosaur, and I really just like how they made, how they did that. Really well done figure. All right, now let's get into the human figures of the set, and that, and we'll start here with Claire. And I want to say I'm very mixed about the human figures of this set. Some are really good, while others, to me, are not that impressive. So let's start with Claire. This is pretty much the same version of Claire as this, with, but with a different suit, <clears throat> a darker shirt, and black pant prints. They're very nice. Uh, there's some little detailing right here, and obviously there's an alternate face expression. And the same hair, same head, pretty much the same as the other Claire figure in these Dominion sets. Uh, really nice, just very accurate with the movie. So yeah, really cool, and this is, again, this is based off the beginning scene in the movie with the Triceratops and the, uh, and Franklin, which will be the next figure on this list. And like I said, here is Franklin. Now, they did a terrible job with making this look like Franklin, because I tell you what, this does not look like Franklin from Fallen Kingdom or Dominion. Uh, there's not even stubble a beard like in the movie. Uh, he has a, a missing tooth. This is definitely a head from a different set. Uh, the hair piece is pretty nice. There's another face expression. Again, he wasn't missing the tooth in the movie. I don't know why. He does go with this little carrot on a stick, though, so that's pretty nice. That was in the last Triceratops set as well. And it's very nice, very all-dark suit, just like in the movie. Um, overall, a good figure, just not a good figure of Franklin. I may even replace the head. I just, ugh, that annoys me so much. It doesn't look like Franklin, and that's pretty sad. Now, one thing this set definitely got right is the extra people. I can't believe how much detail they put into the guards of the set. They have this little hoodie here. It's pretty bland, but there's, I love how they have an actually extra guards. And there's no all sort of face expression, but it has a, he has a hair piece. He has a gun. And, I mean, it's so neat to get extra figures. You don't normally, you know, just like regular civilians or like a random thug or something instead of a main character. It's really nice to see that. And I just really like that. It looks really good. And there's another one. I like this one. I like this one even better than the last. Because uh, I like the hoodie print. Also the head print I like better. Really nice. He's uh, The face is pretty generic. And I like a good generic face to use for multiple things. As with something like this. It's, you can either be mad or like kind of like cocky. You know, it's not. It's like a certain type of emotion. While this can mean many things. It could just be someone who's, you know, just kind of chill, and I really like that, so that's why I like that face better, long explanation, he goes with the little hit, you know, hat piece there, and he, it just looks, I just really like how they put some more detail and love, give these, like, random figures a little more love, and I like the, uh, again, the tranquilizer gun, I really like how they have a yellow dart instead of a green dart like they used to, <clears throat> so yeah, overall, really happy with this figure, especially, probably my favorite in the whole set. 
All right, moving on to the builds of the set. We'll start with the ACV. Very, very, very basic ACV build. build almost like a classic level basic. It has like a little control thing here. A windshield. You could put, I think, like two characters on there. And we'll just go ahead and do that. All right, here it is. And I find it very interesting. Uh, they make it, it made it really hard for the character to grab onto the handlebars. Like, almost impossible. And that kind of sucks. I don't really like that. Again, I think this is pretty poorly built, poorly designed. I mean, it's just a very basic something for them to get away on. And I, this piece fell off. See? And, I mean, it's okay. But you can hold two people on it, so that's great. And... I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, I just don't really have that much to say about it. It's a decent ATV, so yeah. So, on to the much better build of the set, and that is the truck. A very nice truck. It has a little play feature here where the Triceratops will hit the front and the hood come off. And I really like that, the way it's done, because uh, a lot of times play features will be very loose. This one is pretty sturdy. Like, you have to kind of put a little force on here for it to come off, and that's nice. And it, it very easily sits on there. <clears throat> so very nice a sturdy play feature you could still play with the truck without having to worry too much unless you bump the front really hard uh you don't have to worry too much the back trunk's pretty nice uh nothing really to say and oh, the uh inside of the car is also okay too i mean there's nothing really special about it it's just a truck build a black truck it looks really nice though it's a it's a little very detailed build uh it has a little light here on the side and there's an attachment here if you want to put another light and it's, it's just a decent build. There's not much else to say. It's a pretty good truck, and I think it's good for what you pay for. So, yeah, it's pretty neat. So, overall, I'm very pleased with this set. Do I think it's worth $40? Kind of. It's a, it's a decent set, <clears throat> and I think with the Triceratops figure, the four figures you get, and the two truck, the two vehicle builds... I think it's pretty good. I think $40 is a fair price. Now, they recently bumped the price up to $45. I think that's too much. So, when it gets back down to $40, uh, I would definitely recommend picking up this set. Uh, heck, when, if you sign one clearance for $30, maybe even $25, definitely pick this set up. Again, this set is really, really good. And I really, my favorite part about the set is obviously the dinosaur figure. This Triceratops is just a beautiful figure. And yeah, definitely, I think we're $30. Uh, definitely worth $40. Is it better than the Quetzalcoatl set? I'm going to have to say, yeah, I think I like it better than the Quetzalcoatl set. Uh, you get one plain build and you get the Quetzalcoatl, but if you want to pay $40 for something, I think I would pick this over the other two options. This is just a really, really good one. And especially if you don't have a Triceratops figure, this is a really neat figure. And I really... And I, I just really like this set. It's really good. Anyway, guys, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Sorry if there's a little background noise. My dog has been barking and things like that. But, yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this review. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. My junk drawer. My junk drawer. So many things. I don't know what they're for, but... I won't let it go, no, I will add more useless little things to my junk drawer.